So in this video we have a darts competition and it gives competitors five shots at hitting the bullseye. Okay, now in January this is the first round and these are the results. So this table tells you how many people got zero bullseyes, so there's 72 of those, 93 got one bullseye out of the five, 41 get, got two, 25 got three, 10 got four and nine got five. Okay, right, then in the next month, round two. So they do the same competition again, but instead um, of what they did in January, they give people a practice round. So in January, no practice round. February, there's a practice round. And what they want to do is they want to determine whether the practice round helped. Okay. So, here you've got the 26 people got no bullseyes, 71 got one, 63 got two, 22 got three, eight got four, and 10 got five. Now, the first thing to note is that we can't compare these two directly. And the reasons for that is because the total frequencies are different. So, if we add up the total frequency for January, 72 plus 93 plus 41 plus 25 plus 10 plus 9 is 250. So, we've got 250 competitors for January. For February, we've got 26 plus 71 plus 63 plus 22 plus 8 plus 10, and so 200. So, we've only got 200 competitors for February. However, that's quite enough to uh, be able to estimate some probabilities. So what we're going to do is we're going to use relative frequencies to compare January and February. Okay, so we are going to build a probability distribution for January and February. So let's have uh, R and the probability of X being equal to R. So we're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And to work out the relative frequency, I get the frequency here, 72, and divide it by 250. So we get 0.288 there. Then 93 divided by 250, so 0.372. Then 41 divided by 250 is 0.164. 25 divided by 250 is 1 tenth, so 0.1. Uh, 10 divided by 250 is 0.04. And 9 divided by 250 is 0.036. Okay, so here we have our probability distribution for January. Then for February, uh, let's have that R and probability of Y being equal to R. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this time I'm dividing each of them by 200. So 0.13, 71 divided by 200 is 0.355. Then 63 divided by 200 is 0 0.315. 22 divided by 200 is 0 0.11. Then 8 divided by 200 will be 0 0.04. And 10 divided by 200 will be 0 0.05. Okay, so we now have our two probability distributions that we want to compare. Now, that is then leaving us open to, go, to going, OK, we need some way of comparing these two distributions. And that's what we're going to look into next. OK, so what can we use to compare these two distributions? And what we're going to work with are E of x 
and var of x. We're going to have the mean and the variance of the probability distribution. Okay, so we're going to introduce how that is calculated in the next few videos. And then we're going to come back to this example where we're actually going to compare January and February. And we're going to come to a conclusion about whether putting in that practice session uh, before they tried it in February actually helped or not.